And the hardest thing for me at the moment at home with training, I can't do a centre line, I can't do a diagonal because I really have no idea where they are. So with the living markers, when I go to a competition, it just makes it possible. And there are some guys that are going to come into the arena very soon, um, Wayne and Andrew, and they are setting up a system for me at home where I'll, I will have my arena as, so I can do a centre line, um, so I can do a diagonal, so I will know where I am riding around the arena. So it will be like having my girls there all the time. Fantastic. That's modern technology, isn't it, coming uh, across to help you? Absolutely. And, you know, we had a practice with it yesterday, and it's just got so many possibilities. Like, uh, I don't know whether I'd ever be able to use it at a dressage competition, but um, for me at home for training, oh, wow, it'll be nice to know where I am. Very and, good. and also they, they've made me this buzzer thing that goes on my horse's rug and I walk into their paddock and push it and my horse, my horse beeps. Oh really? Wow. There you <laughs> go. So, so we can... need that in the highlands because it's so foggy. <laughs> hey, well, that's similar to what it's like for me, you know. <laughs> now, I'll be quiet. You take over. You tell everyone how you're training. Okay. And uh, start warming up and show us a little bit about it. Okay, Desiderata is an Arab warm blood cross. He's 14 years old. Um, I brought him as an elementary horse and we're doing small tour now. Um, we do a little bit of PF, we do a little bit of passage. Uh, struggling a little with the one times changes. Sometimes I get four one times changes, sometimes I get ten, sometimes I get a box of chocolates. Um, he's a very honest horse. And he's a pretty cool partner to be doing dressage with. And um, my goal is hopefully, I don't know with Desi we'll be able to do it, but I, I would like to compete at the World Championships and the Paralympics. And yeah, that's, that's virtually it in a nutshell. So I might just get back to do a little bit of riding and I'll be quiet. And um, my girls, this will be really ad lib girls, so if you see me heading for you, yell and I'll attempt a couple of diagonals so everyone can see how that works before the guys come in. Calling, calling. Desi, it's all right, don't think. Diagonal. Dizzy, 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 dizzy. Oh. Oh. Hang on, I think I lost my sound. <laughs> I think the sound came off my head. Oh, I'll come and fix that up. <laughs> it's, it's remarkable, isn't it? You imagine riding around. I've done it. And I mean, all there was was a little brown blur at the bottom of these glasses. That's all I could see. It, we, we, yeah. gave them, we gave them the easy way out. One point I didn't, I was walking. I didn't know if I was trotting. <laughs> right. Sorry. Sit really. Thank you. God, sir. Thank you. Okay, days. We right? Come on, young man. Now, how is um, Andrew and Wayne around? Certainly am, Sue. Okay. Would you like to explain what you're going to be able to help me be able to do at home? Absolutely. Uh, isn't it just fantastic to see what uh, Sue can do here? It's just amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> 
So how this all started is um, I'm from Lording Estate uh, and Andrew's my business partner down there. We're both electronic engineers but we're very big into horses and I've got a family full of show jumpers and eventers and whatnot. Sue rang me up back a while ago and um, said, um, can you sell us a solar fan? And then she started to share uh, the dream of um, what she was doing here. And obviously I've heard of Sue quite a fair bit in the dressage side of things. But um, she said she just cannot practice at home. And I said, look, um, we're electronic engineers. We can probably design something for you. And that box sitting down there is uh, our first prototype. And it will actually call out all of the markers so she can practice at home by herself. Now, it's solar powered. It's got a battery in it. Uh, and um, we've just got it set up for a demo today where she'll start off at the centre marker X, call out I as she's riding through and call C. Uh, and again, that didn't exist three weeks ago, so we've been absolutely under the pump to get this happening for her. But, um, and we're just really happy to, to help Sue fulfil her dreams. Uh, I've got two girls that want to go to the Olympics and I know what that's like and I know that I've fulfilled it's my okay. dreams. Okay. And um, I think this is just so inspirational, so we wanted to get behind Sue and definitely do it. What I've also got in my hand here is, as Sue said before, she's actually in the paddock and she can't find her horse. She can, the guide dog will get to her gate. So what I've done is I've um, given her a remote controlled device and as she starts to walk towards her, her, her horse, it actually beeps uh, at a louder beep and therefore she can find her horse in the paddock. So um, that's there as well. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna demonstrate it. Again, it is, it is a prototype. Uh, it's, um, it's under huge development at the moment. And the way it works is it works from a, a distance measuring device. So it will measure from X, it'll measure from I, measure from G, but then there'll be a box at each marker as well. And it will call out every marker and then computer software will actually tell Sue where to go next and say, for instance, E over there will start to call out once she rides through E. Uh, she'll then be able to it will start calling out P for the different tests. So we've, we've had to write software to actually uh, to uh, get the tests into, into the software so that she knows exactly where to go. So um, that's uh, for her to practice at home. So, so you'd she, like, no, like so me to turn in at, at E? Yeah, and then come into X right. and uh, you'll hear it call. Now, because As, we don't have e side calling? markers, we're just going to have to show Sue where to actually get to C, so it calls out. Where's E? No, where's E? So, walk forward. So if you can imagine where she is at the moment, E would call out 9.5 metres into the centre, so she would know exactly where she is from a centre line, and then C will actually talk, call out at the same time. Someone needs to, I can't, I, someone, you have to stop talking, yep. and the marker has to start making noises, yep. otherwise I don't know where I'm going. Yep, sure. <laughs> right, straight. Jack, can you help until the machine hits in? <laughs> a call. <laughs> Let's do that again. Can you walk with me to E so I turn at E, please? Because I'll do a 10 metre half circle so it's a bit more tidy. Call centre line, please. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's see if we can be a bit clever and see if we can do it in a trot. Okay, Daisy. Call centre line. Good. <laughs> oh dear. 
this. Oh. I think I'm way off. Oh no, got it. Good boy. Well done. I'd like to thank Wayne and Andrew for coming all the way up um, for, to help us. Well, this is the first, yesterday we had a go of this for the first time, which was really cool. And we had my girls around helping me around the outside of the arena, but we had a run with the machine yesterday. So it's, it's got so much promise for me at home to make my life more normal at home. So when I train, I can be training like everybody else because I try my very hardest to, to, to keep things as normal as possible. Hence, I do everything, my training and everything by myself. But I have to, <laughs> have to thank my amazing living markers who trapes all over the countryside with me and making my dream come true. So could everybody give my living markers a clap, please? <laughs> Okay, so Sue Ellen, are you going to put your jacket on now?